Rise of Anif I for TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to have with me a victorious Karis Harting Store. Karis, uh, wasn't that bad, was it? No, it was sound. I like the way you said my name, that Karis Harting Store. But yeah, <laughs> no, it was sound. Um, well, you're the one who told me to say it as quick as possible, <laughs> so I don't make any mistakes. Yeah, it sounds better than no one can pick, pick up on you. What, you. Got an interruption, sorry. So we can carry on, we can carry on. Um, yeah, it was sound. Once the ring walk and that was done, um, and the first bell went, it took me about a round or two, I'd say, to get into it. And then once I got into like the third, fourth round, I just found my rhythm and flow and I really enjoyed it. Like. Did you kind of just want to take your time and not rush? I know sometimes you can get overwhelmed with the crowd, professional debut and go in there and get that knockout, but you kind of just wanted to get those rounds in. I did, it's, not, it's not as such as I wanted to get the rounds in or I wasn't looking for the knockout. Like, I didn't go in there saying I'm going to knock this girl out or I'm going to go in there and I definitely want the six rounds. Like, obviously, it's nice to get the knockout, but I didn't want to go in and force it. If it happened, it happened. If it didn't, which it didn't, then happy days. I've got six rounds, but um, I'm never going to, I don't want to ever go in there and try and look to blow someone's head off because I think it just looks messy and if you, if you start to miss, you look shite yourself, don't you? So. Uh, I'm quite happy with how things went, to be honest. Um, it's a bit of a blur to look back at, really. I can only remember maybe one or two rounds and like landing a few shots, but nah, I'm quite happy with how it went, yeah. Was it different different from the, the amateur game? Was it considerably different? Did you find it different or did you have to adjust uh, differently in, in the ring? Um, I'd say everything prior to the first bell is different, but once that first bell goes, I zone out from the crowd, I could hear Big Fraser's voice and um, Lauren's and my coaches Lee's, I could hear their voices but other than that I couldn't hear anybody else, um, didn't have a clue what was going on outside of the ring and that's just what we do day in day out in it, like we spar, we fight every other week as amateurs sort of thing so that's not new to me, that's, that's what I do as a job so that's not different, um, I felt the head clash once or twice, that's a bit different um, but other than that, no, it's just normal boxing. Sky Sports, box are huge platform. Saturday night, 25th of June. It's also another special day. We'll come on to that in a moment. Uh, but was it, was it just pleasing just to be out there in the middle amongst those fans? Yeah, perfect time slot, I think. Good time slot. Smack bang in the middle of the show. There was a cracking fight on before me that got the crowd hyped up. And there's a few good ones now on after me, which I'm going to go out and watch. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. The, the crowd was brilliant. I had my old boxing gym down there. My coach, my old coach, Kevin Bradme, bought the whole club down, which was quality. Um, got a few family members there. And just my, just my little team, like, obviously, Lauren, Rob Lee, and my cut man. Like, it was, it was just a brilliant night overall, to be fair. What's next? When do you want to be out next? That's the key question now. I think I'm looking at September time. Um, I believe there's a few shows being planned for September, so hopefully I can get out on one in September and Lauren can get on one in September as well, maybe a week or two apart, so we can have some downtime together again. <laughs> Where's the birth to go? Lauren? Do you want to do you wanna, do you wanna get in the, in, 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 in jump in it? So birthday to go, perfect present. <laughs> yeah, definitely 100%. Um, well, she did forget this morning, mind, but uh, I let her off, you know, fight day. But uh, no, yeah, I'm really proud of her. Great performance, and yeah, let's move on now to September and both of us obviously getting up then. I spoke to you uh, at your fight a couple of weeks ago, and, and Karis said she was so nervous for you, uh, hence why you don't all kind of want to fight on the same bill. Were you nervous for her tonight? Uh, I was more excited than nervous, you know, just because of obviously I know how hard she's worked in the gym, and I was here in the change room, seeing her on the pad, she looked sharp. And um, I knew as soon as I, that belt, because I've, I've experienced it, I think obviously I was like, oh, as soon as the belt goes, she'll be sound, and she, and she was. And I've been saying the same thing to her all day. Um, I was nervous in the hotel when I was at mine, and she was the same. When I got here, I said, oh, you'll, as soon as you see Rob and the team, I said, you'll relax, and you did, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. And uh, exactly the same for the ring walk and everything. And it, it kind of just like what she said to me is exactly how I felt. So, yeah, go, I was a little bit more, like I suppose, calm and just excited for her, really. Do you feel like next time you walk out, it's going to be a lot better, a lot easier now that the first one's out of the way? I think at the end of the day, it's, it's a fight, isn't it? Like, some people love the build-up to it, like um, Ben Whitaker, for example, when you see him, he'll be dancing, he'll be singing, whatever, he loves it. Whereas I, I just, my mindset is I'm going in there to fight and one of us can potentially get hurt, so I'm focused and I try and zone out from everything. I do soak it up at the same time, but it's like when the bell goes, that's when I'll start to enjoy it. Um, but prior to that, I try and zone everything out because I'm going in for a fight. Like, I want to stay focused. You, you said to me, Lauren, uh, a couple of weeks ago that you needed a break, that, you know, you've been training for a long time. You've been waiting for this moment for a long time. You're even putting peri peri salt on your chips now. <laughs> a bit more flavor on those chips. So what's, yeah. where's the party? Where are we going? 
John. I don't mean we, I don't mean me, but I mean you, you know. Do you know what? Uh, I don't really know. We got um, some cookies lined up for when we get home. Uh, <laughs> so that's the first thing we're going we're gonna to do. And then, I don't really know. We, we plan to go away somewhere. Um, we've also been invited to go to Wimbledon on Saturday in London as Olympians. So, I don't know. We're just going to see how the week plans out, enjoy it, and eat some good food, and just have some downtime, isn't it? Yeah. Just get away from boxing, I suppose, for a week or two. We've been in camp since January, so December even. So just chill, have a bit of downtime, spend some family time and just get away into, I don't know, just maybe not holiday because every, every air place is on strike yeah. at the minute. So maybe hopefully the weather's nice over here and just put our feet up and just chill out for a bit. No, absolutely. I know you want to get out there, a couple of fights left, but many, many, many congratulations, Karis. Uh, and again, Lauren, happy birthday. Thank Enjoy you your much. birthday. Thank we you. won't ask your age because a man shouldn't ask a woman's age, but... 28. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, whatever you do, uh, have fun. And yeah, we'll follow this journey and catch you maybe in September. Yeah. Spot on. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Karis Artin, so for IFL TV, thank you very much. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.